Welcome back guys to another video. I can't believe it took me so long to do one for the famous low profile air coolers from Noctua, the L9 family. Basically with their I and A variant. I is for Intel sockets and A is for AMD. And basically you can take this one and buy a separate kit to make it work on the AMD socket, which I was doing so far. But then Noctua surprised us and they gave us finally the AM socket as well. Why is that important? Because the AMD variant always has a bigger heatsink. So I'm very curious to see how that will perform. From my tests, both are kind of equal, but today let's focus on the AM4 variant and I'm going to include the results for this one as well. And the sneak preview, as you all know, they look absolutely stunning. So let's have a look. Now let's have a look at the cooler. We all know Noctua is synonymous with quality and this thing is just a piece of jewelry. And now it's also available in black. The presentation is spot on and as for accessories you get a low noise adapter, a thermal paste tube and even longer screws so you can install a 25mm thick fan. At just 37mm tall this is one of the best overall low profile coolers you can get in terms of minimal footprint. With this you'll never have any clearance issues whatsoever. It looks so stealthy and professional and makes my OCD tingle every time I look at my computer now. Installation is very easy, just a backplate and four screws. My way of making things even easier, especially on ITX boards, I just flip the heatsink and attach the motherboard on top of it so you can align the holes for the screws. Before we get to the results, I must point to you some new changes to my main computer since the last time I did CPU cooling tests. The CPU and GPU have been changed. I went from a Ryzen 7 1700 to the 2700 just because it was on offer. I will try to get the 3700X when I can get a good deal for it. Also the GPU was upgraded from a Strix GTX 1060 to a GTX 1080 from EVGA the for the Win ACX 3.0 edition. Also I have moved the M.2 SSD from the back of the motherboard to the front port so I can have quick access to it without taking the whole computer apart. I mention all of this just so you know there might be extra heat overall since the last videos and upgrades. Ok with that out of the way now let's see the results for the Noctua L9A Chrome Max Black. First let's see how it performs with the CPU at stock settings. I have put a lav mic roughly 20cm away from the computer so you can have an idea how loud the cooler gets. Our main benchmark will be a 2 minute stress test in ADA64. What you hear is real life without the sound being edited. After this we will overclock the CPU as well. With everything on stock we averaged around 65 degrees celsius and the fan wasn't at full rpm. So far so good. Now I overclocked the CPU for 3.7 GHz at around 1.15 volts. I even managed a stable 4 GHz out of the CPU but the voltage was way too high for this cooler. So this was the most stable value I found for now.
Okay, it managed to handle the overclocked value averaging 83 degrees C, which is of course on the high side, but again the cooler isn't designed for these scenarios. As you heard, that's the fan at full chat, which is loud of course, but at stock it's borderline silent. Like I mentioned, both L9 coolers are very close to each other, only in the stress test you'll see a difference between those two, despite the fact that L9A has a bigger uh, heatsink, but under 1 degree that's almost under the margin of error. The Black Ridge is marginally better because of its higher RPM stock fan, but at a higher noise output penalty. The conclusion is if you have a CPU that respects the official 65W TDP rating, the L9A will do the job perfectly while being silent. In my book, it's still the best overall low profile cooler for stock scenarios when it comes to the performance and noise output ratio. So there you have it guys, thank you for watching and let me know down in the comments what temperatures are you getting with this cooler for your CPU. Until the next one, Alex out.